Welcome to Central Carolina Community College Library. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at Summon, the service that searches all of the library's online resources. In today's video, we'll learn how to do a quick, basic search using the Summon search bar on the library's homepage, how to narrow that search, how to evaluate our results, and how to access and save articles and other digital materials. Let's get started. I have an assignment for my English 111 class that requires me to write a paper on a controversial issue. Based on my interests and experience, I've chosen to write about whether watching TV is harmful for children. I've chosen my topic, gathered background information such as news articles and opinion pieces that will help me to understand the basics of my topic, and give me ideas for search terms. and decided on the search terms that I think will bring back the best results. If you need help with picking a topic or creating search terms that describe the topic, watch our topic selection videos on our website or ask for help at the library. Now I'm ready to start my summon search and gather scholarly articles on my topic. I'm going to begin by going to the library's homepage and locating the summon search bar. I enter my chosen search terms, screen time, and toddlers, and search. The Summon search engine is easy to use for a basic search, and it mimics the familiar function I'm used to with services like Google. However, when doing a basic search, I might find that I have simply too many articles to effectively use. When doing academic or scholarly research for an assignment, one of the quickest ways to limit my results effectively is to choose peer review and then limit the content type to journal article. We can find these limiters on the left-hand side of the screen. Underneath the heading Refine Your Search, click on Peer Review. Underneath the heading Content Type, click Journal Article. This reduces my results from over 60,000 to 3,806. However, I still feel like that's a lot of articles to try to evaluate since I only need six for my assignment. I want to narrow my search further, so the next limiter to consider is the publication date. My instructor recommended that we keep all of our research timely, so I'm going to limit my results to only the last five years. This reduced my results by over half to 1,676. One final way to narrow my results is to limit the subject areas covered by the articles. Underneath the Discipline heading, I have the option to choose subject areas most closely related to my field of interest. When I click on More under the Discipline heading, I see a long list of subject areas in which scholars have conducted research on my topic. I'm going to choose just a few that I think will be most relevant to the controversy I'm considering, Education, Psychology, and Public Health. Then click Apply. Summon then narrows my results to the areas I select. Now I'm down to 670 results and I'm ready to begin evaluating. By clicking Preview under the article description, I can read an abstract which is a brief summary of the article. A good abstract will explain not only the article's content, but also its purpose. By reading the abstract, I can determine whether or not an article will meet my needs. Look at this abstract to determine if the article relates to your topic or answers the question you have, and if you understand the author's writing. As I'm evaluating, I notice that I'm getting a lot of results that involve my search terms screen time and toddlers, but do not relate to my topic, such as this one about the right time to screen for autism in toddlers. I can get rid of these unrelated items in my search by adding quote marks around the phrase screen time. When searching for a term that includes more than one word, use quote marks to ensure that the search engine understands that the words are a single term. By using quote marks, I'm telling the search engine that I only want results that include the words screen and time when they appear next to each other in the article's text. Now I have just 76 results that are more targeted to the topic I'm researching. Once I've found an article I think will be a good resource for my assignment, there are several ways to access and save it. I can choose to read it immediately by clicking on the article's title. This will open a new tab where the article will appear with a full text version formatted for the web. From this screen, I can save it to my computer or a flash drive by clicking Download PDF and saving the article. I can also email the article to myself by clicking Email and filling out this form. 
If you are at home or any other off-campus location, you will be prompted to enter a username and password to access the materials you find in your summon search. You can request this information from the library's website or call us for help. If you have any questions about using Summon, please don't hesitate to contact us. Remember, we're here to help you succeed.